Hey everybody, hello and welcome to the JavaScript course hosted by Orange Note. In this course, you'll be learning about what JavaScript is, but also how to code using this language. You're going to learn how to bring your HTML and CSS to life, and we will go deeper into what that means in the course. So my name is Trinidad Ramirez, and I will be your instructor for this course. You can call me Mr. Ramirez or Mr. Trin. Uh, either one is fine with me. Uh, a little bit about myself. I am currently studying computer science at California State University, Monterey Bay. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's located in Seaside, just five minutes away from the beach. I've also been working professionally as an IT associate for the state of California for almost three years, where I mainly troubleshoot IT-related incidents with both Windows and Mac devices. And whenever I'm not coding, working, studying, things like that, I like to get myself on the golf course and play around at golf at least once a week. Um, as for music, I listen to almost everything, uh, hip hop, rap, pop, classical, blues, uh, electronic dance. Uh, but I do find myself listening to an electronic group called Odessa a lot. So I think it's safe to say that uh, they're one of my favorites. Um, but enough about me, let's uh, talk about JavaScript a little bit. So JavaScript is everywhere. Um, some big companies that use JavaScript are Netflix, Uber, uh, Facebook, and Google. And you're probably wondering, well, you know, why learn JavaScript? Like, what can I use it for, right? Um, the answer is all sorts of things. Um, one of the main things being you can make your web applications interactive and we'll talk about what that means. And it's used for mobile development, game development, smart watches, and even drones. And at the time of this recording, if you were to go on indeed.com, which is just a website that uh, filters job openings for you, um, if you were to type in JavaScript developer, you would actually get 7,855 total pages of job openings for JavaScript developer in California alone. So it's probably a good thing that you guys are uh, learning JavaScript uh, early. But let's talk about the syllabus. So what are you going to learn in this course? So the first week, well, we'll do class introductions. That way everyone's familiar with our classmates. We'll set up Repl.it, which is the development environment that uh, we will be using to make our games and our applications. And we'll do a little bit of HTML and CSS refresher. Uh, second week, uh, we'll talk about what JavaScript is, uh, variables and constants, basic math. We'll go over the random method. Uh, third week, we will learn about loops, conditionals, and logical operators, uh, functions. Uh, we will learn how to wire JavaScript to your HTML file. Uh, fourth week, we'll talk about arrays, intros, introduction to events, and what set timeout is. And the fifth week, we will add and control audio with JavaScript, and then we'll do an introduction to Bootstrap. Um, second to last week, we will review and start wrapping up our final projects. And the last week will be the final project presentation. So um, each one of you will get an opportunity to showcase your final project to myself and your classmates. Uh, and then we will look back on uh, how the project went. We'll reflect, you know, what went well, what didn't. And speaking of the final project, um, I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of the final project. So here's a brief video of what you will be creating by the end of this course. Um, you will be building a whack-a-mole game, uh, but with your own theme. So I just so happen to love Nintendo and Mario, obviously. So this example is Mario themed. So maybe you like Disney or Spider-Man, uh, whatever it may be, uh, you'll be equipped with the necessary skills to be able to build this game. And I will be there to help you every step of the way. So don't worry if this all seems a little intimidating to you right now, uh, but I'm just gonna let this video play through. 
and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, and that is just a brief idea of what your final project will do. So uh, it uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, as you can see, um, you're gonna use HTML to set up the heading, um, some text, uh, the background, images. Uh, you're gonna use CSS to style everything. And then you're gonna use JavaScript, um, logical operators, functions, um, kind of those things that I was going over in the syllabus, you're gonna use all of that to uh, make these images uh, randomize and kind of flip around like that. And um, as you can see, you're gonna be able to add uh, sound effects and audio as well. So if you click on the mole, it's gonna give a sort of a, like a success sound. Uh, and if you click on uh, Mario or Peach, it's, kind of, it's gonna give kind of like, a, like an error sound. Um, but aside from that, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I am so excited to be able to teach you guys JavaScript and I'm looking forward to it. So I will see you all in class. Thank you.